All right, Trippy Red, Blueface, Lil Dirk all responds to or reacts to 6 ix Tattletale album flopping. If you didn't know or catch my video yesterday, uh, 6 ix 9 album lost 100,000 streams due to a bundle not being eligible to go towards his stream. So he's expected to bring in 50,000. I think Big Sean is going to be the number one album in the country, unthroning or unseating uh, Taylor Swift, who's been on top of the charts for the last six months. So let's talk about it. But first, we're going to talk about Gilly the Kid, what he had to say about 6 9 and 6 9 begging him to get on the podcast. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love support. Check out our music entertainment playlist for more videos like this. And pretty much, Gilly the Kid played the video, and I'll put the link in the description on Twitter that I guess, you know, 6 9 left him a voice message, whatever it was, saying that he met up with him before, and they get they did meet up when uh, he was still rolling with uh, Treyway Shoddy. And that, you know, basically Gilly the Kid needed him and, you know, he'd be the hottest in the street. He'd basically take over Joe Button and, you know, this exclusive interview would be one on one. You could ask me anything. He said, you know, I'm a real nigga and this, that and the third for one. You know, you're not going to call me no nigga, especially not no little, you know, dirty Mexican. You're not going to call me no nigga. All right. But he's sitting here and telling what he could do for Gilly. And, you know, this would be the hottest interview in the streets. And you got to wonder. Why he's begging Gilly the Kid for an interview, right? You just got to kind of wonder. And he knew those projections wasn't looking right. That's why he begged him for an interview. He knew those projections. His album was flopping. They tell him what's going on. And he was begging Gilly for a handout. You know what I'm saying? He's begging Gilly to get an interview to get some traction. You know, why not set up an interview with Good Morning America? You know what I'm saying? I mean, he got the he got some of the biggest pull in the industry and all the all the signs have been here that this album was gonna flop all the signs have been here you know what i'm saying him saying i'm getting blacklisted out the industry him saying begging for an interview with gilly the kid you know what i'm saying and people probably still mad at gilly for saying all lies fuck black lives matter all lives matter that's basically what he said but i i honestly made the correlation yesterday when i see him had that bar stool logo in the corner and that Barstool logo on his hat, I already knew what it was. Barstool is racist. So, you know, you always got to think about that. When dudes start, you know, dudes that you thought was solid and down for the cause and they start selling out, they took the bag. Like Corey Holcomb could say. He said, I seen some of the most righteous dudes. And, and that's Gilly the Kid's prerogative. Do what you do. Because you got to stop looking up to celebrities you got to look, stop looking up for celebrities for, 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 you know, political guidance and, you know, to lead us out. No, all them dudes is, is commercial. Like DL told Nick Cannon, you can't be commercial and be radical. Just the honest truth. So I kind of seen that. You see Deion Sanders, he been cluck dancing and buck dancing for years. He signed with Barstool. Barstool's trying to get Charles Barkley. So they trying to simulate, they trying to, you know, get a team of, of the biggest raccoons out there. So, I I mean, if you sell out and take the bag, I remember one guy worked at GM where he told me everybody got a price. And the same thing Corey Hocus was saying, everybody got a price. So, I kind of understood now why he said what he said. Now he got that barstool hat on. It makes some sense. So, I just got to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, 6 9 begging for, you know, interview, that's crazy. Some people be trying to beg you for interviews since you're supposed to be the hottest nigga in the country. He said, yeah, I remember I met you in Philly. You knew I'm a real nigga. You a real nigga. The streets would be eating us up. And at least Gilly the Kid got some integrity left after signing with bar, Barstool not to get that nigga interview. I think then people really started looking at him funny. You know what I'm saying? They started looking, they started looking at that interview. Then they started looking at that Barstool hat. Then he up there with 6 9 People going to be like, oh, gee, then sold out after 20-some years in the game. And his co-host, old girl, sitting there and everybody laughing. And Rollo sitting there, uh, everybody laughing and shit like, man, what? You know, I mean, why he didn't go to uh, Joe Button? Joe Button let him come up there. You know what I'm saying? Why he didn't go out to Queen's Flip? Queen's Flip, like, everybody come on up there. He let my mans come up there. That's like harassing Alpo and shit. <laughs> you know, you know why he didn't go up to Queen's Flip? And Queen's Flip, obviously not going to set you up because he would have set old boy up with, with, with Alpo in New York. You know, at the end of the day, maybe all them dudes turned them down. You know, it's a lot. It's a lot of other YouTubers that do music. Why didn't go over there to Adam? 
Why he didn't call Vlad? I'm surprised you haven't seen this dude on Vlad TV yet. Why he ain't called Vlad? You know what Crunchy Back say? Glad. Why he ain't called Vlad? Is that that these dudes want to do an interview with him? Vlad will do it. Adam name in the news right now. I, I should talk about it. Adam name in the news right now. Why you doing Adam? You know, M Rec in New York. You know, M Rec might set you up though. You know what I'm saying? You might get your ass be fucking with dude. He might set you up. <laughs> and Brett connected with all them real street names. man. He, he would have got you. Hey, he probably wouldn't do it neither, man, because you know he seemed like he down. He down for the cause. So you know, I'm surprised that he was reaching out to Gilly the kid. You know, for that. But you know, he said he had sat down one on one with him, and they could have you know chopped it up. And you know, Gilly said, you know what, I might have his bar stool hat on. I might have did that all lives matter rant, but I ain't stooping this low. <laughs> I still got some plug in with the streets. But, you know, I'm surprised, hey, he ain't been nowhere. So if he couldn't get to Gilly the Kid, maybe he was just comfortable doing it with Gilly. You know, why not Joe? You know, why not, you know, all the other dudes I name? It's a lot of dudes out here that do them interviews. I mean, Adam, all them dudes, why not? Some some of these dudes would have jumped at the opportunity to do that interview with him, especially the white boys. You know, but Gilly was like, nah, I ain't stooping that low. This ain't ludicrous, how low. Can you go? You know, he ain't doing that, but you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, at least he got some integrity. I can interview that dude, man. But that dude, was, he knew his album was going to flop, and it's going to get ugly for him. It's going to get real ugly for 6 9 bro. Um, when the money started to go down, security stopped being around, no show money, he going to be out on these streets naked. He going he gonna to have to go somewhere and take his money, go get a farm or some shit where he can make money and, 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 and sell eggs and sell milk and stuff, because when, that's when I told you guys, man, what comes up must go down, no matter how hot you is, and now that his money is probably going to start deplete, be depleting, and the record label is going to start pulling back, he's going to be out here naked, then they're going to be able to eat off his plate, they're going to be able to eat his whole face off, somebody going to off that nigga, watch what I tell you, watch, and then his streaming number is going to go back up, and he ain't going to be able to benefit from it, but... Trippy Red, Blueface, and Lil Durk has something to say. I put what Lil Durk and Blueface said on the screen. Uh, Blueface said he'd be alive right now. <laughs> if if what he say he'd be alive right now, you know, if niggas didn't gas him up. So I'm guessing he basically saying that he basically roll kill right now, and we know it. You gonna find out somebody gonna catch him slipping and again. He gonna he gonna be somebody gonna catch him. It might not be this year. It might not be next year. When all that money gone, security gone, he can't afford them, he right. Somebody going to put his name on the t-shirt. Real talk. He either going to be cremated inside of a little jar or he going to be six feet deep. His daughter will be able to benefit off of his stream. going to go all the way up. People going to show fake love for 6 9 and all that. But he right. He dead man walking right now. All the apologizing in the world. He done troll so much. He done troll with casting over two times. He said, I, I talked to him on the phone. He's just a kid. Ain't nobody gonna stall them out. All that money gonna start depleting now. They gonna pull pull out. All do we own this royalties? Do we own that? Do we own this masters? Remember, remember during the pandemic when he got out, he was going house to house hiding. He ain't definitely gonna he gonna really definitely have to get out there and get that show money. But if it any show money for him, that's the that's the question. Can he get show money? And if he gets show money, do we got enough money left? To get that security to go from you know, go to New York to Jersey to Houston to Indiana, do we got enough money? They're gonna be trying him all the time. His run is over with. This is dead man walking, like Blueface say. Dead man walking. All that trolling he did, Blueface album, trolling he did this album, trolling Lil Dirk, trolling Chicago, O Block, trolling Lil Reese, all this trolling he did over the years, trolling casting over two times. All that shit talking he doing in the very same, his best friend is the very same person reporting his downfall. DJ academics don't care. He going to jump to the next nigga dick. In a minute, DJ academics going to put him on the block list. You academics, let me borrow the honey. He going to play, who is you? Watch. When you surround you, when you fake, you surround yourself with fake people and fake entities and assets around you. You just a fake nigga. And, and, and Akon going to sit there and, and try to 
you know, revive his career in America by telling people, say, well, Akon is so big and you don't give a fuck about what he is in Europe. We talking about right here, right now. Right here, right now. You align yourself with that rat. Take that rat with you to, to, to that Wakanda city you're building. Take that rat with you. You know, then Lil Dirk said the voice going to offsell him with his eyes closed. You know, he said this will happen when you go against the voice. No, this will happen. Not necessarily that. This will happen when, 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 when you ain't real. He never was real. He never was a ticket puller. He never was moving units like that. His whole thing wasn't based off musical talent. It was based off a of facade, imagination of being a gangster. Now them gangsters ain't around him no more. Now he, he, he got a result, result just a trolling and doing dumb. He's a troll. He's a troll that knew how to fake streams and have bots. And he knew how to bundle his music. He never was a hot artist. He never was Jay. He never was Nas. He never was X. And also, then you go around here trolling Tupac. And like, you just dig, dig, dig your own grave. He was never musically hot. And this is what happened. And Trippy Red just started laughing at him. He tried to snitch on him in court. He, was, he wasn't even snitch. He was just lying on dude. So he got exactly what he deserved. Trippy Red just laughed at him. With B-I-T-C-H on the screen, he just laughed at him. And rightfully so. You know, the real will always prevail. It seemed like the bad outweigh the good, but at the end of the day, you know, good always win. He, he horrible. He gonna be in Times Square performing. Somebody gonna put him on his shirt, and I ain't gonna shed no tears. I ain't gonna feel no sympathy for him. He deserve everything he get. However they take him out. OJ style, hang style, you know what I'm saying? However they take, he deserve it. You know what I mean? But y'all know what it is. Good fellas Sports TV. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget to check out the music entertainment playlist. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business, question, choir, response, video quest. Also got a Facebook group. Want to make a donation? Cash app, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you guys think. One time for the one time we gone.